Hello everyone, welcome back to Tell Me Why. Now we are moving on to chapter 3, which I think it might be the last chapter. Unsure. We're just gonna hop into it. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Is it the correct? I don't know if it's the third. Is it the last chapter? I don't know. But last time we played... It focused less on Tyler and more on Allison. Something's going on with Allison, and I'm slightly worried that she's not all there mentally. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin. And yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. That's right, because last time uh, we found out that Tessa called uh, child services on Marianne. Allison, wake up. What? That's what I was saying in the last chapter, is that we don't know how Allison is handling all of this. You good? That looked like it hurt. Okay, she has to be, like, dreaming or something. That night at the dock. You 
You killed me! Whoa. Inheritance. Okay, that's a little interesting for a starting sequence. Now I'm like, I'm really worried about Allison, because like, it obviously, like, her mother's death had a toll on her. She's not okay. She needs a therapist. Can Therapy? You and your brother can go to therapy together. I mean, he probably doesn't need it. He seems a lot more stable than Allison is, but like, still. Whew. Let's see what mischief we're gonna get up to in this episode. Oh, can we have more Tyler and Michael moments? Cause that'd be fucking great. Are they at his place? Breakfast in bed? I'm jealous. He also made her waffles. Or whoever's. I think Allison is staying at his place. Bro, what happened to the waffles? Did we just get a note? What are you doing? Oh, you're submerging your head in water? What? It's a weird flex, bro. But I don't understand. Morning. I started collecting the documents you need for the rental application. Left the file for you downstairs on the kitchen counter. If you're still coming to meet D for lunch, you can drop off the documents, and I'll make you some cop. I'll make some copies for you. Take it easy, Uncle Eddie. P.S. My favorite buck, buck up, buckwheat waffles are slowly growing cold in the kitchen. That's nice of him. He's right. Time to get my shit together. Yeah. That's what I've been telling you to do. Oh, you got a globe? I wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. Yes, photos that are up there. We look through your telescope. Oh yeah, your thing is open now. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at 12. <laughs> All right, let's go get some breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I had actually I actually had a pretty good breakfast this morning. Uh, I went to Denny's and got some uh, pancakes. I had uh, chocolate chip and uh, banana pancakes. They're really good. Days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. Guess that's the scheduling for something. Okay, let's go. Oh. What Probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. Okay, before that shit happened, I was gonna say, like, this house is actually really cool. I like this little bit right here. Sorry. I'm gonna be an adult and actually geek over how cool this house is. Like, I like this little shelving right here. Something I would have in my future house. Oh, they got a beanbag. That's fucking cool. 
Oh my god, alien. Get to explore, man. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. I actually regret how I, um, like when I first saw, uh, Uncle Eddie, I kind of regret how I treated him almost. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened. Is this his room? What the hell was I supposed to say? Yeah, I regret how I, like, how I saw Eddie. I regret all the things that I said, because, like, he seems like a pretty chill guy. Something's not right. What is this? Um, I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. What? This house is cool! Forget all- oh my god, look at this view! That's gorgeous! I wonder what Tyler's up to out of the house. Yeah, we should definitely go talk to Tyler and apologize for all the shit that we said. Oh, it's our wallet? Yeah, it's our wallet. Yeah, this is all our stuff. Yeah, we'll get that in a moment. Let's go get some breakfast. That's the main reason- oh. What's this? I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. <sighs> yeah, a lot of shit went down yesterday. Where are our- oh my god, fuck yes! I can't really eat anything right now. Are you serious? Look at those waffles! They look so good! And that's maple syrup and some honey! Come on, man. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. Emily, Allison, how could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Um, we should definitely go talk to Tyler. Okay. I don't know what pay, pay stubs are. Mm, yeah. Okay, let's go get our ID, because I know where that is, and pay stubs, which I don't know what they are. I saw my ID over here. Okay, ID. Ah, here's my ID. Take. <sighs> this place is never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face. You're not my child. My plan deserves better. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Grab your pay stubs, so you can get the hell out of here. Okay. So that just seems like her way of blaming herself. Man, I feel so, so sorry. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. I wish I knew what pay stubs were. I can't leave without all my application stuff. The paperwork's not down there. Uh, would it be in your room? I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. say do you they're just words you left me Allison all alone and scared <laughs> 
Something tells me that she should have seen a therapist after uh, her mom died. What the hell is wrong with me? You need to talk to someone. I don't care if it's Tyler, Michael, a therapist. God, where is it? No, don't freak out. We're gonna find it together. Open this. Not here. Yeah. I like your little desk. It's nice. In the bathroom, maybe? Allison, look at you. You're gorgeous. You don't need to be blaming yourself. Examine. Is it? Here they are. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know what pay stubs are. I'm just going into this blindly. Also, why did she take her ID out of her I wallet? I got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? I hear it. It's gonna be okay, Allison. We're gonna get through this together. That's actually some good advice. I... No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. It's underneath here. I think that's just a way of please What's stop doing here. Please stop like looking into the past. Stop hanging on to it and move forward. Hey, D. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah. Uh, sorry. I uh. I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm oh, they got a kayak. Ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> Guys, they have a kayak. Get together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or, it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. That's okay. They have an awesome kayak. Fishing rods. I've always wanted to go fishing. Is this your fishing license? It looks like it. Yeah, your fishing permit. I've been watching a lot of, like, um... Stuff about... Uh, the Texas, uh, Game Wardens. Make a gift. Come on, let me get your mind off of things. Good carving techniques. Plot twist, she's making her cosplay armor. Which is the goal. <laughs> Look at that, did you see that smile? Finally, like, her mind is off of everything. The happier the better, man. Notebook. That is cute. That is absolutely just adorable. That's so cool. Awesome, we got a gift. Let's go get dressed. Can't go out looking like this. 
Who the fuck? Who's at the door? Morning. Hey, Michael. Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake. Oh. Since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. I'm freezing my butt off out here. Michael just invites himself in. Okay. Uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? He's at the house. Um, I'll just say he's busy. No, he's, uh, busy. Out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. Gotta relate. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I... I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? What are you talking about? We've been forgiving people been left and right harsh. in last, uh, last chapter. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I, I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, oh of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Tom is such a good Thanks man. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Tom is like one of the great side characters that you can't really just Sorry for abandoning you off. out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all costs. <laughs> Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, good. Because I did not plan to. <sighs> I've been overdoing it on double shifts this week. I'm beat. I know the feeling. Can you spill the tea on you and Tyler? Hey, you've been carving wood again? Yeah. What? Oh, this. Yeah, I've been working on a gift for Dee. That's dope. Why do you get to be so crafty? I mean, I'm, I'm not that crafty. Marianne taught me most of it. Well, I'm impressed. These hands are good for nothing but cooking. I love this guy. He's so cool. Look at I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's <laughs> not happening. We've got a plan. Yeah. He's a man with a plan. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with tea. <laughs> I, uh, I've been kind of freaking out on repeat today. What do you mean? It's hard to describe, but I just can't calm down. We call that anxiety. That affirmation type shit. Look, when things get dark, I tell myself that whatever I'm going through will pass. That I'm a great person and my feelings are valid. <sighs> this will pass. I'm a great person. My feelings are valid. We'll work on it, but that's a good start. Allison, what's going on? 
Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Last few days, he likes mint lot. chocolate chip ice cream. It's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> Michael's such a great friend. So, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> this ghost oh, bitch God. gonna Allison. get fucking Allison, punched. Look at me. Are you okay? I'm just. Um. I need to. I, I just need to sit down. I think she's having a panic attack. It's okay. I got you. Michael, come in for the fucking clutch. What's going on? An amazing friend. How oh, do I tell him about the memories? Or do I don't? I trust Michael. I trust him with my life. And I think he'll understand. So I'm gonna tell him about it. My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick, and... And I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne, and me, and Tyler when we were kids, and, and Eddie, and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. God, I relate so That's hard. Intense. I'm sorry, has. <laughs> anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. <laughs> I'm getting emotional because, yeah, like, I relate I okay. so much I to what she's going through. <sighs> you must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you got to put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's <laughs> feeling, and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yes! Who would say no to that? Michael has been a fucking amazing friend so far. Yes, Michael, you're coming with me. Yeah, maybe that could work. I who who would people. say no? Michael's such an amazing guy. Opening up to new people. You sure? 
Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh, oh shit. I'm gonna be late for my lunch with D. Love interest. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure. Thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Michael deserves Friend of the Year award. He's such a cool guy. But what happened in 2011? Oh no. Now I'm curious. Oh, that's right, because I think he's part of LGBT community. Maybe he came out to his parents and they kicked him out. That's a possible thing. Okay, we're at the police department. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. Are you okay? Because, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been well. Thank you for the bluntness. Well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> oh, what kind I'll of cobbler? I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. I make some mean apple cobbler. Morning. Hello, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. <laughs> I so bad. <laughs> I mean, that should be my goal, trying to make some berry cobbler. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. I shouldn't bother him. Uh, drop. Wait, drop. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Alright, see you later, loser. Oh my god, that berry cobbler looked... I wonder looked how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. Great, oh my god. We haven't really talked about it. Let's go home, please. I my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. Hmm. Let's go home, Slice. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Nothing really. Just waiting for D. <laughs> then pull up a chair. Can I really sit down? It's a lie. I can't. I'm looking around here. The cookies are still there. <laughs> Oh man. God, I hope no one got hurt. Cause uh earlier in the game when we looked at the sign, it said four. So what happened? Come here. I'm just gonna look around. God I have to sneeze. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> I'm so sorry. A look at the pot. Oh, I can take it. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, uh -huh. bro. Pretty cool. Yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Oh Linda's pretty that concerned, but so uh, growing boys, good. right? You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? Oh my God, that looks so good. Um, what you reading? Oh, uh, about that doc strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! 
it's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. She makes a valid point. What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. <laughs> a cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. Hey, Gregs. Uh, vacation plans? Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York Ooh. City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. And it's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. Heck yeah, man. What are they talking about? They're talking about none of your business, young lady. That's rude. Why do you gotta be so rude, man? Can I eat more of my for my cobbler? Okay. I'll await further instructions in the parking lot. Sounds sus to me. Let's hey, Gregs. Um, what about huh. some crime? So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. I don't like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People come in all the time from God knows where. He oh, sounds like my dad. I know that. <sighs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No, no problem. Worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Oh, spill me the tea. A kid? Let me guess. Some bored kid? Eh, wrong. It's a raccoon. <laughs> Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. That's fucking <laughs> hilarious. It's just a begin. raccoon. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. That's fine. Probably best I take a rain check. I brought oh, you a it's, present. It's okay. Totally. I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Are you gonna give her the present? Oh, uh, I brought you a little something okay. to make up for missing your birthday. Ta da! It's not much, but. You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? Yes, I did. <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Devil's Crossing's not gonna be the same without you, girl. Oh, come Good. On. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, our plans well, just blew out. There go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Don't be rude. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Are we not gonna eat Don't any more of our cobbler? We know it wasn't your idea, but look. Oh, it we're all was. Worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, the sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. That's right, they don't know that she actually killed Marianne. All right, I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest. She you looks like she's about to snap. Tyler. I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him. Okay. I, I 
I can't. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. She is not doing good. Elsa, no. Ty, are you there? Tyler? Answer me, please. Fuck. Why is he ghosting me? God. I can't breathe. Please stop. Okay. Okay. I've been here before. Oh, this is hard. I just need to breathe in and out. Follow the circles. This is like real life. Just a little longer. Shit. Come on, we're not trying to have a mental breakdown right now. Come on. My heart is gonna explode. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is not easy at all. My heartbeat's slowing down. That's good. Good, good, good. Hold on. One more time. You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. God, this is so difficult. I'm okay. We did it. We only fucked up once. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or... When I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um, uh, went back to the house and got a few things for you. I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... <laughs> This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Sam. He's a good guy. Man, now I'm regretting saying anything about a lot of these characters. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm slightly worried. I'm worried definitely for Allison, but I'm also extremely worried for... Tyler, because he didn't answer Allison. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. 
Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I, I like how everyone's so... Over and over. I like how everyone's so intimate, like, instantly wanting to blame Tyler. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. About that. I don't want to tell him what actually happened. Because I don't think he'll take it well. Especially the fact that he's a police officer. I just wish I could forget about it all. Never think about it again. Ever. I understand. Trust me. I do. But there are ways to make peace with it. You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. This game really is trying to make us confess that we killed them. That Al that Allison killed killed uh, Marianne. But I don't think that's like the safest move. Tyler keeps telling me that too. So you two agree on something. <laughs> I'm just not sure I can. Maybe it's time I finally talk to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that, but there's no shame in getting help. Please, just do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. Thanks, bud. Thank you, Uncle. Yeah, thanks, Eddie. How I'm sorry that now? I judged you so severely Anybody? when we first met. Exhausted. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Yeah. Yeah. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close was he? I, I want to know how close he was to Marianne, because I think that's a little bit more relevant. How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He's I know, over at our house a lot. I know Tessa mentioned something about his wife animals. leaving him. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. <laughs> well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility. But I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest? I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. It's a promise. So we're gonna go talk to Sam now. Where's Tyler? Like, yeah, he's mentioned, but like, I want to see how my boy's doing. I 
And we're at the marina. Okay. Allison, we can do this. Okay. Yeah, we, we got this, bro. This. Yeah, we got this. <sighs> this have I talked about this game being absolutely just gorgeous? I have mentioned it's very much like Life is Strange. Out of order, go around. Okay, cool. Gotcha, bro. <sighs> hey, it's okay. I would I would have been really much more comfortable if you had Tyler with you. Hi, Sam. Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Talk. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button up. That's a nice memory. <sighs> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? Uh, I want to talk. I was hoping to. Uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right, uh, here she is. It's not much. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh, never mind. It's a newspaper. I'm gonna look around. Uh, where's your brother? Uh, I think he's back at the house. Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> So, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? <laughs> Fisherman Association, what's this? That looks like it's bank stuff. And... Someone's a notice appearance here, but... Let's see, uh, how's the house coming along? Um, um, physically painful. Honestly, physically painful. It'll be a miracle if I don't throw out my back. Let your brother do the heavy lifting. So he can throw his back out? <laughs> Not better. Fair point. <laughs> Are we sure Sam's your father? Introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Your mother gave that to me. Really? Really got me thinking about things. Oh my god. Something in my eye. You know, just I'm looking around. Make sure that you're not my father. Or if you are. Why'd your wife leave you? Would you like to talk about that? What's up here? Is that his office? Or where he lives? Can I go in? I cannot go in. He lives here? Or does he just... here? Lean. <sighs> Shit. These freaking nuts are stuck. Cool that we got to lean against that. <laughs> so important. Okay, let's try talking to him again and see if, like, we can actually squeeze information out of him. So, uh, Sam, you want to talk about why your wife left trouble? you? I can't get these nuts loose because- What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. Cool, sorry, bro. 
still can't get them off? <laughs> nope. No, is it driving me up the goddamn wall? <sighs> if I could only find that goddamn rust spray. Rust spray, you say? It's literally right here. Yeah, just help him out. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. A red oh, can. Yeah, the word you're looking for is goblin. No princess. Me mum was the princess. Red can. Uh, doesn't look like it's it. Do we see a red can up here? I thought we did. Let's look up here. Because I thought I, I saw like a red can or something up here. What happened? Ah, busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. What? What? Dude, you have a lot of shit everywhere. Gauze. What cupboard, dude? Also, like, give me a hot second. I'm looking. Looking around. Yeah, the gauze should be in that uh, oh. cupboard over there. Yeah, I found it. Red can! Can I take- could, could I have not taken that? I guess it's too high for me. I am but a small. I got you, Sam. Here you go. Oh man, that looks bad. Sam? Are you our father? <sighs> really blunt, but Figured okay. you'd ask me that question someday. Well, are you? Well? I wish I was. Aww. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie, but the man you're looking for, he ain't me. But do you know who we're looking for? Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look... We were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about it. Guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't. I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Nice place you got here. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? <laughs> Heat's on the fritz. Ugh. What's all this? Here. I, uh, kept a few things.
swords and schemes. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. <laughs> Uh, did you like it? Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these ones. this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. I didn't wear that stupid <laughs> hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Well, are you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all I it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. Sam gives me lumberjack Sorry. vibes a little bit. I know how hard this has been on you. The beard, the flannel. You need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Stuck in my ass for a month. Oh! No use to anybody. Three different places? I was Shit. so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, oh, she has have none of that. Damn! She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. That's actually some wise words. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. Damn. I think, I think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. Sam was just sad. And now he's asleep. Poor Sam. He deserved more. He deserved better. So there's a loft in the barn. Let's go see Tyler. Let's go pick up Michael, and let's go see Tyler. Hopefully we can push those two together. Also, tell me if you actually do ship Tyler and Michael. I can kind of see it. I ship it, but it's not OTP, if you get what I'm saying. We are 
a boy. He's still up by the dock trying hey, to get that memory. Tyler? I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. No, please but if stay. there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well... I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own <laughs> legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. <laughs> Let's go. I feel like with these the two, it's either the romance or the bromance. Because, like, you either ship them or you're just there for the bromance. They just set and show time. Oh, ready. cool. Am I going to go fishing? You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Any little hole. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well... There's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches. Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. Okay, let's do this. Oh, do we got a mash button? Come on, pull up on the rod. Oh. Oh, hold. Reel them in. Now give it a nice pull. Fuck yeah! Slippery little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> we did it, man. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. <laughs> oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yes. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. <laughs> we gotta talk to hey, Michael more. So, the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you 
find them. Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. Mood! One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we we're going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE? Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so he found someone who did. That sounds That's amazing. a good man. You know, that is a good Juno, fucking man. My offer still stands. The JC holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I, I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. Michael's such a good man. Look at the cooler. You got anything good in there? Maybe. But who says I'm willing to share? No, oh, okay, come on, Burski. Fine, be that way. Oh. All right, here we go. Okay, we got this, kids. We know how to fish now. Oh, got this. Another fish. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, nice job. So you weren't all talk. Impressed. I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. <sighs> so about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? <laughs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying Where to Where the fuck are the they past. anyways? Where is the house? All of it. Even the good parts. Just Look, in the middle of the fucking I'm ice. I'm taking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. Start fresh. <laughs> Shit. I'd be pretty eager, too. Yeah, well, I was the kid who killed his mom. And I still found a way to confront my shit. I mean, I'm here, doing the work. Even though, every second, I've got to fight the urge to run straight back. To fireweed, you mean? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on never me too if you Never gonna give you up, Just be careful, never gonna okay? let you down. Got a okay. bad left shoulder. I had to. It's all the opportunity, and mind. I had to. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Michael is such a great friend. So you gonna tell me what's in the cooler? So you gonna tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. Or I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person. You know Excuse that? Excuse me? You betcha. What context is that? Don't you say anything. I got- it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. We got this. Put up a fight, man. I have fished in many different games, and this one I think would be my favorite. Minecraft is pretty simple fishing, but like, come on. This takes the cake. I 
I think the most difficult of like fishing in video games was ha has to be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh. Well, that shit was difficult. Damn. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> you proud of me, Michael? I got nothing. That was clean. Hell yeah. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, can I can I ask you something that's pretty personal? Sure. Take off the gloves. You, uh, you've been with people, right? Uh, romantically? Uh, yeah, a few. Have you? Uh, no, not really. That's kind of surprising. I guess the right person just never came along. Please. But you're open to the idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could be. <laughs> Let's say I'm reevaluating. You want my take on it? Sure. Heartbreak sucks. Well, yeah. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. <laughs> but I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Oh my god. We're getting okay. close. You're missing the show. <sighs> kiss. Kiss. Please kiss. doing it yes oh my god yes yes oh my god <laughs> don't tell Allison whatever you do, don't tell Allison but oh my god yes I know exactly what the thumbnail is gonna be. What I'm possibly going to name this episode. Made my day. Yes. Whew. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later. You know I will. <laughs> They're so cute together. Hug. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Feelings. Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. 
Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. These two needed the biggest hugs. God, why did I miss you so much? <laughs> it's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You don't know. <laughs> Okay, so, so great. I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? Yeah, let's spill some tea. Uh, Allison, so, you gotta fucking talk? What is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. Yeah, arson's not a style. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd so never hurt Mary Ann's kids. I'm really curious. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Mary Ann first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently, she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah! Tyler's back, and the duo is back. We're gonna figure out what the fuck is in this lodge. Because there's some shady shit going on. And we need to figure it out. Ugh, what- What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some get up real dark places. I'll protect you. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. Yeah, we'll see how chivalrous guns. you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. <laughs> hey, found a ladder. You can use this, right? We're not going to grab the obvious fucking ladder. Unless there was something else. Oh, look. Yeah, I just need to get the ladder. Duh. Let me look at it again. What do you think is up there? Oh, we I don't know. Discussion. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. I can't grab ladder. Allison, I think my game's broken. I can't grab the ladder. Oh. Just a regular old light switch. Nothing uh, here. Look. The handle should be behind this. Oh, that's ah, so cool. There it is. Fucking secretive, man. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yup. My name Come is Cloud. Let's find a way to climb up there. How about this very useful ladder that I looked at earlier and wondered why I wasn't grabbing it? This is what we saw at the end of the last chapter. I knew it had to be like an attic or Can something. Can you see anything? Nope. Not a... God, this is so cool. Cool, but also creepy at the same time. Here, found a switch. <gasps> Fuck, man. Ugh. Holy shit. <laughs> well, that shaved a few years off my life. So cool. It's her 
story. Look, she left us something. Is that pie? That's the pie symbol. It's got a combination lock with letters. That's what you're calling that? Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Probably. Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah. Let's start here. Okay. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I, I don't know. Hmm. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? Or maybe we just need to solve the puzzles in order. We're not done with the other one yet. Okay. So I think that's the puzzle we need to start with. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Sure. Um, index. Du, 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 du. Okay. But... Oh, Mad Hunter is actually labeled. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? Okay. Spot the differences. Moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Sorry, I'm just like looking at the art. Worry. Do you think the Gold Lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah. Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the Mad Hunter. So we saved Marianne from something, but not in this version? Castle. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So Marianne ran away from home, and she grew up kind of rich? That could be it. Let me look at the book again. Yeah, the moon's still there. There's some yeah, those are still there. The Mad Hunter looks the same. Can I do select that? There was something Yeah, the hand or was not. not there. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the gold lady cut off his other one or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories or after. Yeah. At some point when she was running away from Whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. Mm. Figured it. Oh no. My game crashed! No! <laughs> Is it gonna make me start everything all over again? God, I really hope it doesn't make me start the entire chapter over again. Hopefully it leaves me off, like, at least in the, um, attic. We're gonna find out.
Okay. We're back to where we were. Recognize this? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Okay. Spot the differences. There was no hand. It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Uh, the castle? Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? Huh. No goblets. Yeah. The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Do you think... Yeah, that tree was The there. Gold Lady could have been Marianne's mom. I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, you're right. It's like the pedal, but that's She there. ran away. That pedal's also there. Just like the princess is here. Let's try to talk to Allison again. Figured anything out yet? Um. Uh, I'm totally stumped. Well, first off, the title's different, oh, right? Oh, yeah. It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. Oh! That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. What is all of this? Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? What? I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. What? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture Whoa. of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. What the fuck is this? The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Uh, probably. Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. Hmm. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, nope. Don't want to look at that. Look at this. An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. And then there's this letter. Marianne, I don't think I can do this anymore. You deserve better than a cliche bullshit. It's not you, it's me. But it's the truth. After all, it's too much to deal with, and I realized that I'm not ready. I'm just not ready. Maybe if we have dealt with all of this on your own, without your mom constantly putting pressure on us, things would have been different. But the damage is done, and probably is too late for that. I'm sorry, you were an amazing person, and you made me a better man. I hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we're both better off apart. There I go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. Here, but I'm gone. Brent. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? Tyler, see that little light? A little light. I think we need to solve this one next. Ah. Okay. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So, maybe all of this is related to- Hey, I can move the piece her? next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delo. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Engineering looks happy. The wise well, princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. the gold lady do? Is that it? It's open. Aha! I'm genius! What's in there this time? What's this? Oh, it's the house. It's fucking cool. Is that Carol? <clears throat> yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. 
Wow, she worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Hmm. Huh. That's very interesting. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. <laughs> the weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? Yeah, something went down that we're all not understanding. Oh my god, that's a long... You can pause to read this. Okay. You can pause to read any what of that. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992. Before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Do you think we could track down her father? <clears throat> you mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. I don't think they're gonna accept Tyler. That's my worry. Allison's open for, like, stuff and all that, but, like, I worry about- Oh, fucking Christ. This just lit up. What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? That's the gold lady's castle. Oh. Are we supposed to select events? Of how they went down? Some sort of clock? Okay, we are. I don't know what the berries mean. Uh, I want to say... What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey. That degree in outdoor studies is paying off. It could have been the house. This is the princess's house. And then this? This looks like a dinner room. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? Okay. Maybe the clock is wrong. Maybe it was... What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beef. This is the princess's house. And in time? Some sort of clock. Damn it. Why is nothing happening? Yeah, I need to look at I need to look at some clues real quick. So I need to figure out cuz she got here. Wait. Yeah, it was all in here. So, I want to Okay, she was pregnant in 1992. Look at it. Okay, yeah, that's the house. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved. Okay, to that's Delos. 1992. No wonder she was so handy. Park. Salmonberry Park. It's June of 1992. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. The He's clock is the fucking- so Okay, okay. I'm, I'm starting to understand. Wow. Okay. She worked for a watchmaker so... in Juno before she moved to Delos. Okay, so- No wonder she was so handy. It was the commune, the clock, and I think everything last. So let's go back to this. She worked for a clockmaker. Sort of clock. And I think it was this boom. This looks like a dinner party with the old. This boom. is the princesses. Come on. Oh wait, or is it the other way? Connected this is the princess. 
and then this looks like a dinner party with the old uh -huh. and the very old beaver. Yes. A genius. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. Hmm. I'm not gonna really and sit down and read it. The princess lost her most precious treasure. That was the story she read us that night. God, that makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind. Built a whole new life for him. And then he was just gone. That's why this I was guess all having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were gonna be taken away, she snapped. It's all making sense now. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah, but we still haven't seen what's in that chest. So, this entire room was made for that one child, but... Okay, so how do we open it? old lady stays locked up in her castle. Back in your pond, big frog. I really hope I collect There you go, stalwart moose. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. I still don't know who the Mad Hunter Luna is. Gotta be imprisoned in her lake. Crafty goblins go here. That's the pious pelican spot. I think we still missed a bunch. Because, like, there's a lot of empty things. Thank you for pushing me out of the way. The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. Look at this. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> S E A R. Wait, R L O S E A. Okay, three letter word. Any ideas, man? Three letter word. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> no, there's no M, sorry. <laughs> For some reason, I'm like, it's Sam. It's not Sam. Or is that an N, not an R?
I'm missing some something. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I, I don't know. We already discussed that. Wait. L. E? E. L? Oh, O. Oh. It's O. L. E. Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? Oh. I'm so done with her riddles. L. E. That has to be it, right? Oh my god. Okay, so it's color-coded. Red L, yellow O, orange E. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. <laughs> I know, man. L. Oh shit. I had it. <laughs> It's Leo. Damn it. There we go. Yes. Got it. That took some big brain moments. What did we just do? Whoa. Did it just get darker in here? in the box. Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. Dear Allison and Ollie. That was her son. We wrote stories to understand and be understood, but what good is a story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept mine from you for so long. All my, all my love, goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Is that... Leo Ronan? Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Because we, st we still haven't figured out who their dad is. Come on. Let's go to the It's time to finish this. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Uh... Wait, wasn't there some... Oh, give me one sec. I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. Yeah, put every... All of those down there. Let me look. Oh, it's his blanket. A baby blanket? Yeah, it's Leo's blanket, yeah. Yeah, we're still missing, like, a bunch. That we didn't exactly pick up just yet, so. <sighs> Alright, let's leave. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Yeah, let's go. Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. Okay. It's to the dock. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. I'm glad her demeanor Let's has changed. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with.
Tom? Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? What? It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Tom? I literally didn't even expect... What? Tom was such a chill guy. I, I, like, it did cross my mind. I'm like, <laughs> it'd be funny if it was Tom. But it actually is Tom. What? Tom has a lot of explaining to do. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Oh my god. Th this game, right when you dismiss something, it's like... Gotcha. Oh my god! Tom! Kids, listen. You're our father. Tom. Yes. At you least he's not no douchebag. Here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was gonna blow up in my face. I had to do something. Tom, I put so much trust in you. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want, as long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. Tessa doesn't Tessa fucking killer. know. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. You fucking... 
And you just couldn't risk being there when it happened. So much respect for Tom. Even though it meant leaving her to raise kids out here all by herself. He has lost all of my respect. This would have happened if you'd man the fuck up. I didn't have a choice. I feel like something bad's about to happen. I know it shouldn't have happened. Something bad is gonna happen. Your mother was a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will Stakes. not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. Oh fuck, he knows. Cause he witnessed it that all. Night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. He know he knows what happened. He knows Allison killed Marianne. God damn it, Tom. I had every- I had so much respect for you. You have lost all of it. You were such a good man, until you weren't. They made me do it. They made me do it. Why did they do it? It's his fault. It's his fault. If you weren't such a chicken, you could have fucking stopped this shit, Tom. Things would have been different. He wasn't actually gonna go kill them. No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh. You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. The fuck does that mean? We all be clear, but you, you'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? Maybe I should have told. And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. <clears throat> you know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. 
There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back. Maybe I should have told Eddie what actually happened that night. Allie, you okay? You didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? Yes, it's possible. Fuck. I think Allison might be right on this I one. Don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it. Okay?
gonna hurt you. That's the only one we can. Hurt you. meant for us it was her way of of explaining what she was going through i made a horrible mistake <laughs> hey hey it's okay i'm Come here on. when we really thought we started to understand everything. We really didn't understand anything. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? A little page dwell. Or just count bad. Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. At least it's somewhat of a happy ending. A 
I wonder what's gonna happen now. I mean, they figured out everything that happened. It wasn't necessarily a happy ending, what happened ten years ago, but... And that was also a lot to take in for them. But, in the end, they figured out what actually happened. Hopefully, now that they can, like, move on. This episode was really good. This chapter was amazing. Man, we found out so much stuff. And I knew that maybe this was going to be the last chapter, but it's worth it. Okay, we're six months later. Shaved his head. One last look, and I'm good to go. It's me. Hey, me. <laughs> Pause is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep. Gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Oh. Well, that's it then. How's Juno? She went to Juno. Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. <laughs> Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. <laughs> what? <laughs> Heresy. I'm gonna need like twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Oh, wow. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. I've cleared out you? everything. Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Haha! <laughs> Oh shit, uh, no. Did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to God, read it. Oh, this is so beautiful. I did accidentally pressed the wrong thing. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, oh, this but is that so is beautiful. a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Man, they really did clear everything out. Also, this plot of land is like fucking gorgeous. We've seen everything. This was a very emotional roller coaster. Wait, there's they said that I can re read. Oh yeah, you uh, JCE. 
Do we have to go through the house again? Um, look. Look at the door. I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. Yeah, what does the rest of your stuff say? Mm. Huh. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. <laughs> so Tessa left Tom, which had it coming. Take. I guess that was the photos that we needed to take. Okay, we have the photos. Let's make sure we look at everything real quick. Man, seeing it empty is so weird, but at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. It's actually a really nice house. Ooh. That's cool. Make sure you grab your laptop. So I guess he's moving in with Michael and, um... Tessa. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Oh, shit. I didn't- <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Take the laptop, because we're gonna be needing that. Shove it into your pocket. Um, let's look upstairs real quick to make sure we did grab everything. That's just a photo. We don't need it. God, like, everything definitely... It's so weird looking at it empty now. Because, like, every time we were in the house, this was, like, filled. Oh, yeah, their room. For posterity. You know, this would actually make a really good office room. Yeah, you can put, like, a desk right over here between the two windows. <laughs> Man. The emotions. Also, this, like, entire- th I didn't mean for this to, like, turn into an actual, like, little series on my channel. It just kind of happened because, like, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with only one chapter. So that's why, like, I really did give you guys another- like, I- that's why I was, I was destined to continue this. Because let's face it, we were all pretty much hooked on this. God, she texts fast. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have everything? Goodbye for real, I guess. Hey, Aaron, it's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, uh thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch, staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember.
Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. That's it, yeah. This game. I really thought it was- it Like, this game was a lot like Life is Strange, but a little shorter. And honestly, I don't regret playing this at all. It, it was really, really good and really fun to play. I don't know if there's any more to this game or not. I'm glad I played this game. Elson was grateful that they completed Marianne's puzzle. 18% of people, like, forced the chest open because they couldn't figure out the puzzle. Elson was influenced by Tom's testimony. Um, they held on to their voice. Um, we didn't confess to the, contr the truth. Um, we listened to... Sam's story, and we didn't confront him about his addiction. We kissed Michael. So that's good. And yeah. That is actually a really good thing to have at the end of the game. There were so many twists and turns with this game, and it was really, really, really good. I'm really glad that I picked up this game. I saw it in uh, the Xbox Game Pass, and I was like, you know what? I, w I saw previews about this game. I want to play it, and I don't regret it at all. Um, Tyler was such a really good character, and I'm glad we got to see more of his story. Allison, she struggled, but she was also equally as good a character. The characters were awesome and amazing, and I loved them a lot. But yeah, I really hope you guys really did enjoy this journey with me. It's a lot. Uh, I'm really happy that I played this game, and I really hope that you enjoyed it as well. But until next time, I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.